Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Galaxy Shark Gaming. My name is Midnight and today I am back. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be recording a video. So today we are going to be doing the nether biomes in miniature version because otherwise that would be too big. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So, to start off, we are going to be doing this, the nether portal build. So, yeah, this, so you got the portal, you got the lava, you got the bricks, you got the netherrack, yep, you got it. So, to start off, uh, put, so we, it's going to be 5x5, five five, so put ta two trap doors that are crimson, one, two, then three warped ones one two three then on the other side put one two three four five warped then on the back put one two warped so like this then you want to put one two three crimson and then this other side as also crimson so you get this flip all of these trapdoors Sorry, by the way, I have had a cold for a while, so, yeah, my uh, talking won't be that great. So, yeah, anyway, next up, you want to kind of find the center, place netherrack under it, or magma, either one really does work, and then go to the side on each, and then on... Um, the whichever side you want but i'm gonna be putting it on the left side go one two and on the right i'm going gonna go up one to get this so this is gonna be our portal yeah then for the flow to the side of it put one stone brick and the other side put magma yeah i know but it's a bit weird to have all three but yeah then near the uh, stone brick put one lava here put another piece of netherrack here and another stone brick here okay to get this shape then to this side you want to place one magma here to the side of this netherrack on this corner and then right next to this stone brick you want to place another netherrack and then just fill in this other spot with lava to get this so yeah, now if you want you can speed up the video and just go to the next one but you want to keep doing this then you want to have one nether rack one netherrack here near this stone brick then one more stone brick in this corner put one one more netherrack in this corner and one more in this corner right here <laughs> so yeah. then in the middle of these two netherrack put one magma block then on one side put another magma block on the other put a stone brick Preferably the stone brick that's near the magma that's under the portal. <laughs> I know that was a hard to take in, but that. Anyway, then you want to have one more bit of lava here. Put netherrack on each side. Then put another stone brick here near this magma. And one more right here. That's going to be all our stone brick. Then you want to put magma here and here and nether rack here and magma here to get this. So yeah, actually maybe change out this one block to be lava, that, that looks good. So yeah, but we are not done just yet. Just put here and I'm going to put one here as slabs of stone brick. So it's not just, you know, one smooth floor, you know, like this pretty cool right yeah I think so anyway on to number two for number two it is going to be this lovely 
thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be the Soul Sand Valley. For this, put place one, two, three, four, five watt, and then over here, and you know, like like you did this. Uh, with crimson and what just put what here because one two three. i am also trying to speed run this video because i have to go <laughs> soon which is annoying because i have not been able to record for a month <laughs> then anyway on this on this corner any corner really well you know if you build in near the this portal then put it here Put in near this specific stone brick that's near this piece of lava specifically you know but yeah then from here on both sides you should put two more soul sand and then on this side i'm gonna put one more soul sand okay then right in the middle right dead center in the middle we're gonna put one more soul sand coming out on these two sides similar to that but then we're gonna put one here and one here so yeah and then one more in this corner just to be sure so you get this kind of shape yeah and then for the rest of it you can put soul soil instead now over here we're just gonna place a bit of soul soil here and some soul sand here just to make it again not super flat anyway now onto the main bone structure now contrary to what that shows i'm not going to make it three blocks wide because that's just too big so instead from here you want to come out one two three like this and then on each side you want to come up Two blocks two blocks here to get this shape and then copy it on the other side to get this or also you can just do one yeah okay one I'm gonna keep it as one you can do two you can do three you can do that whichever suits what you want to do anyway <laughs> on to that that's it by the way on to number three because we number three we, it's the basalt deltas is it deltas or basalt biome i don't know <laughs> three you want to do the same thing like the last two except this time it's just crimson so once you finish doing that you want to like how you did here mix and match what you're using for this i sorry if i didn't say what we were using for the first one <laughs> for this we're going to be using magma blackstone basalt crimson trapdoors which you've already hopefully done and lava so that's it so you know not much anyway for the floor you want to put in this corner and the corner opposite to it magma okay then near both of these magma pools magma pools did i really just say pool anyway near both these magma blocks you want to place one magma here one magma here and yeah <laughs> and one magma here yeah then you want to have one magma here near this corner diagonal to this corner and then one more and then that's it actually <laughs> now i'm not doing one more magma more so that's it then you want to place your basalt upright first off here near these two magma here here in this corner here 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 i know i'm just saying here 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 but you know that's just meaning you can do it whatever near this block wait did i not place it yeah near this block and then yeah that's it then for the rest of now not for the rest of it for most of it you want to go one here near these two blocks one near these two blocks one near these blocks and one near these blocks so and then pretty much everywhere else you want to place 
lovely good old lava Ex actually one more right here just to be sure yeah so now you got a lovely 2d flooring again also sorry that my skin isn't working it I couldn't get it to work so sorry anyway you want to now come up on one on this corner that has basalt on it one two three blocks tall then over here on this black stone near it you want to come up one then you want to come up on this basalt again one two and one more basalt here on this magma right here so you get this kind of shape then on this basalt you want to come up one two three same height on this you want to come up one two over here on this another basalt near its price price you want to come up one two one one just one just one actually <laughs> then over here on this basalt come up two over here come up three on this then uh, one basalt one black stone and one basalt and then one more basalt so yeah now you pretty much got it done except we're gonna come one two right here on that final black stone and you're done that's it really that is it anyway on to number one two three four we are going to be doing this lovely netherrack fortress yes we are doing the fortress now i wanna again this time crimson again by the way go five yeah, I'm just gonna see you guys when I'm done. Okay, done. Anyway, after this, you wanna go, you wanna pretty much do about three blocks at most out of this in lava. So, yeah, I'm gonna do one here and then a two over here. So, I'm gonna kinda cover these up for now. I'm gonna do them in this. So yeah, you want to quickly cover them up with whichever block you want. Uh, prefer preferably netherrack, because then you can detail it from there. So fill in this time the entire floor, yes, with netherrack. Just fill it in. Okay? Okay. Maybe, maybe just so that it's not too crazy, we have one more pool right there <laughs> of lava. Then, you want to put about one here near this new lava pool and one here of nether quartz and one here, one here and one right there of nether gold or, don't forget, still the ore. And now we're pretty much done with most of these blocks so I'm just going to remove them but now we still have the nether rack walls by the way, you cannot actually get in this thing. It's not going to be possible to get into. Okay, just just so that you guys know that. Okay, so I've pretty much got it done. Uh, we're going to go one, two, near this and this. One, two, three, four. Then we want to bring it up, what, three, four blocks? Let's go one, two, three, four. Let's go up four blocks. Actually, surprise, surprise. Now, it does come out in three different directions here. So, first, you want to come here, one, two, and then here, one. So, yeah, you get that. <laughs> then, over here, in this front area, you want to come one, two, one, two. Bring that two blocks high. And that's pretty much it. And then for the third one, you want to come one, two, one, two, and here, stop it like this. So, yeah. And then you are done with the nether rack fortress, nether rack, nether brick. On to the second most complicated one it is the crimson and warped biomes. So, in this, you want to again do that crimson and warped thing. Sorry if this video is going to be too long, by the way. Now, on this area where there's warped 
you want to place one two layers of warped blocks same with the crimson blocks then you want to place one crimson here one warped here one more crimson one more warp and then i'm just going to place one warped because yeah you can put crimson it doesn't matter anyway after you do the floor you want to get crimson fence and the what uh, nether ward blocks with the warped blocks as well then you want warped root then you want crimson root you want the crimson fungus warped fungus and then you want the twisting vines so yeah for all the plants and stuff so it's pretty simple just go up two thing one then one thing one thing like that i'm not gonna put it in line <laughs> there we go and then on the other side same like that so ding 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 okay and then we're gonna do one like this so you get this nice small biome then warped roots put like three maybe four crimson same put about three maybe four then put some crimson fungus and some warped fungus and then finally you can put some twisting vines and that's it <laughs> i have to go quickly so as you can see i'm speed running this anyway on to the final one of today's video you wanna again after you do all the one two three four five with warped like this you wanna do i'm sure after you've done both of these both the first and third one you know how you're supposed to do this how you're supposed to texture the flow but put a lot more black stone okay but just make it on one floor like one layer basically so yeah okay so like this i'm not showing you how to do that because so for this i'm just gonna show you here because yeah existing family so difficult i don't want to build this on so i'm just gonna show you so you want to come from any edge one two three four blocks up okay then on both sides you want to put two uh blackstone walls okay let's focus on this side for now this side so on this you so on this you place <laughs> after you place a wall block you want to come one two more blocks up wait how many block one two three four five make sure this uh, pillar on the corner is five blocks not four then make this thing wall and then two blocks then one two three four blocks of walls not walls blocks for block stall then you want to skip one block and instead put a staircase on top like here and then you want to put a slab on top of a block okay on this side you want to after you come wall go two blocks up then you want to place a block upside down stair and then a block again with slab at the very top to get this texture so block stair block slab okay oh and on this you don't place two blocks you place a block and a slab sorry then here you want to make a corner fill this completely in with uh, uh what are they called uh, yellow candles as gold blocks miniature gold blocks so after you fill this in just with blocks place a wall with a stair on top with another block in front with nothing up here okay then you want to place three blocks here 
with a wall over here. So yeah, instead of nothing, there's a wall, okay? Then again, you wanna fill this in, but as you can see, it should have come one block up with two more walls coming here. And same with this, make sure that on this corner, there's two walls coming out. And this block coming up for you. Yeah. And this coming up. Yeah. So then you come make that come up this high. Then bring this two blocks up. Then one more on top. So you get like a miniature seven. And then a wall here. Then you want to place a upside down staircase here with a block. And then that should pretty much be it if you fill in this. And you want to obviously place one stair right here because otherwise it should otherwise look like this so yeah that's how it should look okay i know that might have not been exact but let me just do a 360 okay you can see it now can't you yeah and then obviously four candles and four candles at the very top just to finish it off and with that i will be seeing you guys in the next video Goodbye.